Hi, this is Bill for SparkyChannel.com and today I'd like to show you a fabulous tool from DeWalt. This is the 5 inch deep cut bandsaw. It's a cordless bandsaw and it's got good power. It does 490 surface feet per minute. So the blade will go 490 feet in a minute. So it's a really nice tool for many trades but I'm a licensed electrical contractor and this is just a fabulous tool for electricians. You can cut EMT and all kinds of uh, tubing with this saw. And the blade is 44 and 7 8 inches long so it lasts a long time. You get the, the shorter blades and they get hotter faster and they wear out faster. You can use whatever size battery you want. I'm using a two amp hour battery on it. With this saw, you can use different um, blades. Uh, this is, happens to be a 14 tooth per inch blade. This, is, this will cut your EMT and so forth quickly. And it's an it's a excellent uh, size for cutting EMT. If you have something a little thicker you wanna cut, you might wanna go with a 18 TPI for instance. This is a little finer and it, it'll cut more heavy duty metal. You can also put on a 24 TPI blade. To change blades you move this lever right here like that. That loosens up the uh, blade on the pulleys. Yeah, I'll show you. When you tighten it up see it, it tightens up on it. You loosen up it loosens up like that and you always take your battery off when you're going to take off the blade. I'm going to, I'm going to change this blade over to an 18 TPI blade. Put it this way. Okay, so we got loosened up and the battery's off. So I like to grab it right here. You pull it like that, then you work it out from the guides. Okay, got that out. Okay. So you just pull it, take it out from the guides there. So this is your 14 TPI blade. So while I have the blade off, I'm gonna show you that these are the pulleys. This and this are called pulleys. See, this will just go around. This won't because the motor is on this side. Around the pulley are the tires. That's actually what they're called. They're called tires. And when you have your blade off, you should always inspect your tires make sure they're in good shape, there's no piece of metal in them and so forth. Inspect your guides, make sure there's no blobs of metal in there. And when you're using a bandsaw, you should never use lubricants to cut uh, your metal. And that's because you don't want the, uh, the lubricants with the metal in it getting all caught in here. So they suggest in the manual, you know, don't use lubricants. And this is the work stop. See, there's two fasteners right here that you can pull this up and down for, for bigger items to work on. So that's your work stop, and here's your, your hook. Okay, so now we're going to put on an 18 TPI blade. So it's kind of like backwards and taking it off. You put it on like this, and then put it in your guides. Okay, so now you tighten your latch like that, put on your battery, and you run it a little bit to make sure it's in the, in the guide's right. And while I have it in this position, I can show you the light. It's got an LED light right there to help illuminate your work. This bandsaw has adjustable speed. So you start at five. It also has a nice convenient blade tracking feature, which you just use a straight slot screwdriver right here. And that's to get your blade right in the middle of your guides. This handle is adjustable. So you can loosen that up. It's, it might be a nice comfortable position for you. All the way down and there's a couple intermediate 
sizes as well. I think I like it right there, so I'll tighten it up. This bandsaw comes with a built-in hex head wrench to be used with the work stop. This is the work stop right here. And for my first demonstration, I'm going to be cutting some quarter inch angle iron. So I'm going to put this work stop down. And so you loosen up the two fasteners and it could go all the way up that high and it go, can go all the way down that low. You see, even at the lowest setting, it still does not hit the blade. So you know, just tighten it up. And then I'll put the hex head back in its place. There you go. So now the, the work stop is extended for larger items. Notice that the work stop is in the same plane as the blade. So you can use the work stop and usually you'll be using this surface right here. You, you sight down this surface to um, see that your blade is going to be cutting straight. Here I have a nice piece of quarter inch angle iron and I have a line drawn right here which we want to make this cut nice and square. Put your bandsaw right here. You put your work stop right up against the work. Right like that. Put your blade right on the line and then check to make sure your work stop is 90 degrees. There. Okay, that's that's 90 degrees right there. Okay, so we have a nice straight and square cut right there. So I put the work stop right up against the work and you can look at the work stop to make sure it's at 90 degrees. Let me show you how to do a square cut with a bandsaw on EMT. Okay, so you got your safety glasses on, you got your, your safety toed shoes on. Then you check your work stop to make sure it's at 90 degrees. So there you go, that's a nice square cut and that's how you do it. It's always best to use a vise when using a bandsaw. However, on a lot of job sites, there's no vise available. So what we do, you take your EMT, you put it up against the work stop. And, and there you go, it's just like that. But that's half inch EMT. Here's three quarter inch EMT. I get it nice and straight. Okay. Here's one inch EMT. Now you get your work nice and straight. Okay, so when there's no vice available, that's how we do it. For my last demonstration, I'm going to cut a piece of four inch ABS. And one of the big advantages to this five inch bandsaw is it can accept bigger items like this and it's accepting it quite easily. So I have changed the blade to 14 TPI, which is more appropriate for ABS. The 18 TPI may actually melt the ABS. There you go, it's a nice cut. In conclusion, this five inch cordless bandsaw is incredibly useful on a job site. The 44 and 7 8 inch blades are long lasting and stay much cooler than shorter bandsaw blades. The wide mouth is very handy for cutting larger items and I feel that the design of the tool is very well thought out. It comes with a three year limited warranty. I'll put links in my video description for the DeWalt 5 inch deep cut bandsaw as a bare tool and as a kit. I'll put links for the various bandsaw blades that can be used on this saw. Also, I'll put a link for the new DeWalt 12 volt max 
five spot plus cross line green laser level, which is another tool that I've found to be incredibly useful when laying out EMT conduit. Thanks, I hope this video was helpful.